everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'll be doing two separate DIYs. My daughter Hope loves the color pink as well as even. And she wants some pink decor to go in her bedroom. So, I'm going to start out with these two vases that I picked up from Dollar Tree. Now, initially I had two of these white ones, but I left them in my car and one of them got dented up really bad. Um, it didn't pop, it didn't crack, it didn't break, it's just really deep dents inside of it. So, it's pretty sturdy. I bought the first two sets a few weeks ago, so when I went back to replace the dented one, they only had one black one left. Here's the skew. So, eventually I'm going to paint these pink. But before we get to that part, let me just go ahead and remove the sticker. What I'm going to do is glue these two together like that. And I like the way they look too, black and white, so that's an idea guys, so keep that in mind. Since I'm going to make this into a vase, I want to be able to use the whole length of the vase so that I have the option to use longer flowers if I want to. So here I have my hot knife and it's already heated up. What I'm gonna do is go ahead and cut the circle out on both faces. All right, now if you do a rush job, then you will have some pieces sticking up. If you do, then take the back of your knife and press down and even it out. All right, so I'm back. And as you can see, I have holes in both pieces. Now, I want to make my vase pink. So to make sure that both pieces match, that one pink is not darker than the other one, I'm going to spray paint this one white first. And here I have some semi-gloss Rust-Oleum paint. So I'm gonna paint this one white. Once it dries, I'll paint it pink. This one is already white, I'll paint this one pink. So I'm going to do that, allow both pieces to completely dry, then I'll come back and move on with the DIY. Okay guys, I'm back, and here's what my vases look like. So what I'm going to do is start gluing my vase together. Now before I said I was putting holes in here so that we can use the whole length of the vase. So in order to keep the flowers from falling through, we need to add a base, and of course, we're going to use Old Faithful. <laughs> I'm calling it Old Faithful already, and I've only used it once for the lid. So, let me get my thing here and just take this off. So now we can glue it on this way if we want to, or this way. And we have a base. Now as for me, I think I like it this way. So I'm gonna take some of my Gorilla Glue. All right, I wrap some paper around it because I have some glue coming out the side. So I'm just gonna take some glue and put it right around here. Okay, so I have glue all the way around. And I'm just gonna go ahead and take my bottom piece and put it right on top of the glue. I'm gonna make sure that it's even. So now we're gonna glue these two pieces together. All right, so now we have one piece. Now I'll let the glue set up on the places where I put it. I'll come back and then decorate it. Okay guys, I'm back and all my pieces have bonded together. Like I said before, I really like the way it looks. So I'm just gonna add a few pieces of bling. I've decided to go with the bling that's on the sheet. It has adhesive on the back, so we're gonna use this. To save on time, I went ahead and cut some strips of bling. Now for the base, I'm gonna put some right around here. And I decided to go with four rows of bling. Okay, now this one has three rows of bling. And I'm gonna put that here and around the top and I'll be done. Okay, 
Here's my completed face. Alongside its matching partner, I'll put them on display and you'll see that at the end of the video. For the second DIY, and most of you guys have seen me do this already, I took seven of the styrofoam floral rings from Dollar Tree and hot glued them together. And I'll link the DIY on how to do this in the description below. Now, she wants this one pink as well, so I'm gonna paint this white. Then I'm gonna go over it with pink. So once that dries, I'll come back and move on with the next step. Okay guys, I'm back. And here's what it looks like after I spray painted it. And of course, the spray paint is completely dry. So next, I'll use some Mod Podge to glue some of this beautiful pink glitter onto my waste basket. Okay guys, I'm still at it, it's early in the morning and the hairspray is partially dry. I'm going to let that completely dry still. Meanwhile, I'm going to take two of these plates from Dollar Tree, just like I did before, glue them together and use them for my base as my trash can. Alright, so now I'm going to take some hot glue, put it right along the edge. Now I'm going to go on the inside and reinforce it with more glue. So now I'm just going to glue this on top. Okay, so now we have this. Okay, I have these flowers that I picked up from Dollar Tree. So I'm gonna cut these flowers with these wire cutters just about here. Like that. You don't want them to go through. Let's start in the middle. Then I'm gonna take the glue gun, pull this back out. Put some glue there, and then insert the flower back into the hole. All right, so I'm gonna to continue to do that all the way around and then come back. Off camera, I went ahead and added some glitter to the base. And I sprayed it really well with some hairspray. If you want to, you can go over it with Mod Podge, but the hairspray seems to be holding up pretty good. This is what it looks like. Here's the inside. Here's the liner for the trash can. And I made it by using two of the chopping mats from Dollar Tree. And I think it's really feminine and glam. And when you're using a waste basket like this, you don't want to put anything gross in there, anything wet. Anything like paper that's dry, towelettes, stuff like that, I would use it for pieces like that. But yeah, I think it's absolutely stunning.
Okay, everyone, this completes my video. I hope that you enjoyed it, and if you did, please leave me a thumbs up. Please don't forget to comment, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. Okay, everyone, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching.